Hello guys, me Carl Santos, aka Happy Carl9, and welcome to another edition of F1 2018 Career Mode. So, this is the Spanish Grand Prix from Catalonia, I believe. And let's check where I start. I start in ninth place. So not well, a lot farther than back than that. But I go by Sergio Perez at the start and realize, oh, I should have not made that move, but it was a riskier one, so, I know what to expect, there will be a few flashbacks during this video clip, but I'm not going to give up and say, hey, I'm not going to make this move, or that move, it all ha it happens in F1 racing. Like most of the time when I'm in the beginning of a corner I just want to stick my nose in there and hopefully I don't get my nose damaged. Which 6 out of 10 I kinda do but kinda wasn't my fault and you know. So this is the opening lap and and let's see who the leader is. The leader's gonna be Sebastian Vettel. Yep, so Sebastian Vettel leads. And I'm gonna tell you about this series I'm gonna do for season two of F1 2018. I'm only gonna record races that are 25% in race length, so that way you don't have to see a long range of races having to come back and forth seeing these boring races that have no substance in them and realize oh he, his goal was to not make mistakes on the track so that's what I'm here to provide you not make any critical mistakes like the driving or the handling of the race car I should say and not make it too loose that you're gonna hit the wall it's I kind of do sometimes like that one just have to do another rewind and that one again hitting the the title sponsors uh, billboard <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. so I will uh, I will do another commentary in a few minutes. Now I'll be fast forwarding to the pit cycle during
stuff is one of the McLarens. We're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. tire situation. We're good for the time being, but you are going to start to notice the wear, so make sure it doesn't catch you out. Okay, remember to pit this lap. So, welcome to another edition! Well, not, not a welcome back, but we're back! And so, we're on lap 11 right now, and I don't think I did showed you the pit cycle. It might have been in the first part of the Spanish Grand Prix video, and I kind of fared very well. My goal was to get to Fernando Alonso, but He's not on my proximity radar on the track uh, map. So, anyways, Esteban Ocon is having a a legion of race cars behind me trying to gobble up on me and just pass me left and right. It's I think it never happened, but that's what I should not be doing in these real F1 races. Have the slowest car out there, and then all of a sudden, just wait until the upgrades from the R and D department help me get better parts onto the racetrack. So, should I keep commentating or just move on to the end of the race? Because I don't want to spend all this time wasting. All you guys' time and effort on watching other YouTube videos like anything related to racing, but you can just uh, go on to another one if you wanted to. But it's your choice, but yeah. Sometimes when I've done this for five years and I don't get views, hey, at least you gotta start somewhere, you know. I'm not going to tell you how many subscribers since you guys can already see my account, but oh well, a number's a number, and I'm going to dedicate this effort on making a racing gaming channel, so I'll fast forward this uh, video and I will move on to the other part.
laps of fuel remaining. seconds. is plus one. Faster engine modes are available. All right, we are at the end of the race and basically the final lap. Uh, Charles Leclerc passed Esteban Ocon off camera, so I don't know what lap number, but at least I'm able to hold off the field and finish six. So I have to put, give a pat on the back and get some solid points. So, basically, it was a solid effort. 
my car was way too loose in the corners, but I made it happen and made it stick. And that's what real experienced drivers do. They just don't give up. And I'm 51 seconds behind the leader, 30 seconds behind Fernando Alonso. Yeah, that's real F1 racing there. And then I'm still the points leader. And I kind of vary between the AIs of 50% to zero the first three races and then moved it back up. Because I wanted to get one of the achievements that if he clinched the championship before the USA Grand Prix, you get the title. And that's what I wanted to do. And you played the game, right? You went for the achievements, you went for the trophies. And all you can say is give a pat on the back. That's all I can say. So here I am at the data center, <laughs> checking my R&D tree, and unfortunately I haven't been doing the uh, aerodynamic department. Well, yeah, chassis and what else? I'm trying to remember. I do the powertrain a lot, but the chassis and the durability, yeah. I kind of like, it, it's interchangeable, like I kind of see trial and error whether or not I'm doing what I'm supposed to do with my upgrades and fortunately enough I've been able to do that so, so I'll stop here, I make a happy car on 9 and y'all have a great weekend, bye. Their advantage at the top has been reduced. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson. Who would you go for? Let's give it to Esteban Ocon. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. On to the con We're coming to the end of my video right now, so if you guys want to support my channel happy carl 9 give the thumbs up if you like the video click on the bell button if you want to subscribe to more of my video content that i provided and comment on the video that i posted below the description so support my channel happy carl 9 and thanks a lot for watching my videos so bye everybody and peace out thanks